Hi, my name is Keith Milam. I'm a planetary geologist at Ohio University. A planetary geologist is a, a geologist that studies other planets using some of the techniques that we've applied to planet Earth. We study the rocks and the minerals of other planets like Mars, for example, or other solid bodies in the solar system like the Moon. For a planetary geologist, there really isn't a typical day. I mean, you can find yourself working on planet Earth. You could be working on an impact crater in southeast Ohio or southern Africa. You could be working on remote sensing data from another planet altogether. So it's hard to say that there really is a typical day for a planetary geologist because uh, we have the whole solar system to work with, really. Ever since I was a kid, I was in love with space. My parents will tell you that back during the days of some of the early spacecraft missions, I was glued to the TV, and uh, I was just fascinated by some of the data that was coming back from the outer solar system. So even as a, as a young child, I was very interested in, in outer space, and so I think I've had a passion for this for a long time. It took me a while though after that to realize exactly what it was that I wanted to do and that's that's part of the, the challenge uh, of the, deciding which field you want to go into is you know what what exactly do I prefer and how do I think and how am I wired am I wired to be a scientist or am I more of an engineer or a mathematician you know um, it takes a while to figure that out for some people and I was one of those I initially wanted to get into aerospace engineering, but I quickly realized that I didn't quite think like an engineer. I think more like a scientist. And so um, I was always fascinated by geology, but then when I found out there was a field known as planetary geology that, that I could study potential samples or data from other planets, um, that just, that was it, I was hooked. I had started to take a geology class or two and became really interested in it, but um, was discouraged by others about, you know, what would you do as a geologist? You know, it was a question that was commonly asked. And it's still the same kind of question that, that parents ask their kids coming into geology nowadays. We have geologists doing all sorts of things, working oil fields in the Middle East, working in Houston, um, working in academia, working in planetary geology. And so when I was an undergraduate, um, there was a bulletin board at that institution that had different subfields of geology and one of them was planetary geology and I had no idea uh, that that was even a you know a real thing and when I when I found that out I switched majors instantly and and that's that's when I was hooked. When you find something that's really interesting to you um, then you can go down that road and in, in, in more detail investigate that even further. Then when you get into high school Maybe you can tailor your, your classes and your courses towards whatever it is you want to do. For students that want to get into geology, definitely take the foundational science classes. Take biology, physics, chemistry, astronomy maybe. If there is an earth science class that you have in your high school or middle school, take it. When you get into college, you can always take an intro geology class to find out if that's really what you want to do. It helps if you have physics and astronomy as well. So there's a planetary science aspect of it too. How do the planets work? How do they orbit the sun? You know, how do they relate to each other you know, gravitationally and so forth? So definitely um, geology, physics, astronomy, math are all important courses to take. You take AP courses in, in high school where you have the ability to receive college credit. That's great because then that frees you up in college for taking additional more advanced geology um, math, physics, biology, chemistry courses, for sure. Um, but, but definitely get the foundation. Definitely get, get all of your science and your math classes out of the way early on. And so then when you get into college, you can focus on the more specialized geology courses. I use my geology courses all the time. Um, all the, the fundamental courses that I've had, all, all the way down to field work. We use math and science constantly, you know, uh, doing calculations, calculus, statistics. Um, we're constantly using um, in the research that we do. For students that are interested in science, um, especially in rural communities, one of the best things you can do is just go down to your public library, um, get on the internet if you have access, and do a lot of your own research. Two most exciting things about what I do. Um, first being able to really, I know it sounds cliche, but explore new worlds. You're, some, you're oftentimes one of the first people to see new data from a spacecraft, from um, a lander, from a rover on another planet. And um, the, you're really the, one of the first people, one of the very few people on planet Earth to get a chance to 
see a landscape using the imagery that's available and using the data that's available. There's very few of us, um, you know, maybe a couple thousand around the world that are actually exploring these other planets using this, this data. So that's pretty exciting. I guess the best thing about my job is I love what I do. Not too many people get a chance to say that. I mean, they, people go nine to five jobs and it's just a job to them. To me, I love what I do. I love the kind of scientific research that I do and, and um, that's, that's what I'm passionate about. Most planetary scientists, they have the ability to um, you know, write about other worlds, far off distant places that oftentimes a spacecraft may never go to. I had the rare opportunity to map the Gusev Crater landing site for one of the rovers, the Spirit rover, um, and produce one of the final papers and maps on that landing site. It was published and then three weeks later we had a rover on the ground testing those hypotheses. In many ways that's kind of scary because you've said all these things about a landing site using orbital spacecraft and now you've got a, a, a rover and a team of scientists at least 250 strong that are all testing these ideas and, and, and uh, going over those hypotheses. And so that was a really unique experience as a scientist. I mean one of the reasons I got into geology is I like being outside, I like being in the natural world. And so sometimes when you're in an office for extended periods, uh, geologists kind of, you know, they get a little antsy. You can tell they're ready to go out and bang on some rocks, you know, and be outside. The possibilities are endless because geology is a very interdisciplinary science. We dabble in all the foundational sciences. And so a, a geologist is a very diverse scientist. And so sometimes you'll find them working on environmental projects. We, environmental geology is quite big. So they'll, they'll use biology and chemistry basically to clean up land, uh, old landfill sites or underground storage tanks or we'll have hydrologists which are another flavor of geologists, another type of geologists that will go out and investigate groundwater, surface water issues, contamination and help clean those up or remediate those. So there's, there's a lot of possibilities in geology.